Hello, I am David W. Barker. This is Programming Today I Learned. This is another Rails episode. We just recently deployed to Heroku and set that up. Now we're going to go ahead and modify our Heroku settings and our application just a little bit so that way we can actually send real emails because everything was tied to localhost before in the file system. Now that we're in real environment, we need to do it for real. So let's take a look at what we've got. So I'm going to roll a few instructions here. First, we want to go in Heroku and add the Mailgun add-on. So you can see I'm already in my application here. And you can go to Configure Add-ons and then type in Mailgun and add it. You can also do SendGrid or something else if you'd rather. Um, but you can go ahead and look on their all of their add-ons in their marketplace if you want. I'm going to just use Mailgun for this exercise. Uh, I seem to have really good success with them. So we'll do that. After you've done it, it's going to automatically add a few environment variables to your Heroku environment, uh, such as these and then a few others. I'll go ahead and show those off. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can't see everything. So the Mailgun API key, domain, public key, and then these other ones used to be called Mailgun SMTP login, password port, and server. And I have since renamed them to Mail Provider Address, Mail Provider Password, Mail Provider Port, and Username. And the reason I did that and I like to do that is in case I switch up my provider at some point, I can easily just swap out those environment variables and I don't have to go ahead and uh, do code changes to reflect each of those. So if I go over here into my staging environment real quick, down here at the action mailer section at the very bottom, I have gone ahead and I have each of these. So like I said, if I had saved them as the mailgun ones, that would force me to go ahead and update these variables. Otherwise, I'm maybe using a environment variable that says a mailgun SMTB login, but it's a send grid username or something. So just a nice thing to do. And then I go ahead and I delete these four. I've left the other ones on there in case I want to use those, you know, send via the API or CLI or anything like that, but I haven't yet. Um, and then after you've done that, you need to go into the add-on. So you can go ahead and under the resources or under overview, click on the add-on and it'll open up your Mailgun account to this dashboard page. Click on the send and then overview and then go to authorized recipients and type in an email address that you want to be an authorized recipient. So the way that um, this works with Mailgun is that for your sandbox environment, they can only send to people who have been authorized to send to. So once you click that, it'll send you an email like this. And it says, Mailgun wants to send you emails. And you have to say, agree. And then you'll be verified down here. Now, the reason for that is to prevent spam. Uh, other providers, such as SendGrid, I believe, gives you up to like a small amount per month uh, on their free tier or, or their sandbox tier, uh, whatever that is. Um, this is just a way to prevent spam. Um, I've had more success again, like I said, with Mailgun, uh, just in terms of keeping everything locked down. And then once you actually want to go live, you can upgrade your account. And then within your production instance, you'll just have a, the production values from your upgraded account here, um, as opposed to the sandboxed account information. So you can see this is provider at sandbox. Uh, um, you'll have a real account name. Um, so that's it um, with respects to sending emails. I'm not going to go through the production stuff, but if you have a question about it, feel free to leave it in the comments uh, below and I will get back to you. Um, other than that, it's very simple to do. And then in the next uh, episode, we'll, we'll be doing Svelte. We'll actually see this in action in our Svelte sandbox environment to go ahead and send emails to myself. Um, that's it for this episode and talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Thanks.